disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk, and with this, your discretion is advised. Sounds of heavy armor, clashing steel and furious butt mashing fill the air. The girl in front of me is deeply focused, rhythmically bobbing her head to match with her character's actions. The boss falls to its knees and starts disintegrating. FINALLY! I immediately start clapping in joy that both the girls and my immediate suffering has come to an end. Thanks again for coming to Mana Stream. Bye bye! I'm greeted by the harsh glare of the sun as I get my first exposure of sunlight for the day. I arrive at the local store located a few blocks down from my apartment. As I approach the magazine section, I see a figure of a girl staring at the last copy of the VTuber magazine. I really notice the dark circles on her eyes, reflecting the very aura that's exuding from her. Even I don't ever look this dead inside when my uh, donations get ignored. Well, I don't doubt that there are differences in the way that people present themselves on stream and the way that people act in their personal life. People act differently depending on the situation, like how to act in front of strangers versus how you act at home. That's true for VTubers as well. I guess it also depends on the situation. Why are they acting differently? That's true. What about this? You have a person that acts as a certain way, but for the sake of playing a VTuber persona, they have to adapt a different personality and act in a way that they usually never would. Would you consider that VTuber to not be real? That the person was just playing a character? Aim, stop. The idea that an idolized VTuber isn't actually real is one that wouldn't sit well in anybody's mind. But thinking about it, there well, is some valid, well, validity to that idea. <coughs> Sorry if I pronounce this word differently because, uh, hey, my native language is sadly not English. Ich bin Deutsch. Okay, I'm actually Austrian, but <coughs> anyway. I watch VTubers all the time, but I always just assumed that there was a person behind the avatar that acted the same way. Yeah, no. As much as I hate to admit it, admit, I guess there's always the possibility that there might be a real person behind the avatar who's just playing a part. But does that necessarily mean that the VTuber isn't real? Not even constitute them as being real. But if they can only act that way when they adopt that VTuber identity, then is that really themselves? Isn't that similar to putting on a superhero suit or transforming into a magical girl? Okay, I've watched enough magical girl to know the answer to that. Same here! At the same time, I hope you didn't watch a magical girl side, Madoka. The two others that I also watched, but I have forgotten the name of. Transforming empowers the ghosts to perform feasts. Feats that they otherwise might not have had the courage to do so. Or doing the things that they actually always wanted to do. But their true strength was always in their hearts, regardless of transformation. Oh, that's interesting. The fact that you watch anime magical girl shows that it is. Not what you said. Hey. Just just being in one... Just... I don't know the word. Just focusing on one genre of anime isn't enough. Always a second. I hope by interesting you mean that with a posit positive connotation. There's nothing wrong with watching magical girl anime as a young male adult. I mean, yeah. Maybe the story is actually interesting, which is actually always my reason. If the story is interesting, then, huh, then I continue watching it. If not, yeah, okay, um, yeah, uh, no. I have endured enough trash. <clears throat> that is all I'm gonna say. 
I find the stories to be inspiring. Okay, stop! <laughs> oh, I agree. I just wish it was that simple in reality. Or maybe it really is that simple, and I'm just overthinking things. Last question. Does the audience's perception of the VTubers identity matter in determining if that identity is real? Sorry, is there supposed to be a clear correct answer to these questions? But like I haven't given a single one. I don't think so. At least I don't really have a clear correct answer. I'm mostly just asking so I can see another person's point of view. Huh. I might be naive, but I wish it could always be as simple as just be yourself and everybody will accept you and you will succeed as a VTuber. Maybe for some is that it is that simple and there's no problem. Some VTubers just be themselves on stream and enjoy what they do. And there's nothing wrong with that. Hi! But even then, not everyone might accept you. You might have people who push a different identity on you. Hi! <laughs> I mean, I mean, yes on and no. Here's a little fun fact here. I know that I'm really mo more comfy than just being myself. And I want to pro provide this for everybody. To have a comfy place for everyone, for any and everyone. For anyone and everyone. What people want might end up being different from what you want to express. Maybe it causes a disconnect between that person and their VTuber persona. Or maybe that's actually them. If there is a disconnect then it probably becomes more pronounced when you adapt a new name and appearance. Probably. Then in that scenario is it VTuber self the fake and their usual self the real self? Or maybe they are both different, but they are real sides to the same person. Or maybe they are both fake. Okay, you kinda, you kinda, just, uh, you kinda make my brain into mush. Kinda, just, uh, you kinda. I guess, how would that even work? I don't know, I just said that to mess with you. Ah. Uh. I applaud your ability to crack jokes right after asking such serious questions. How did I even get into this situation? I almost forgot why I came here in the first place. Looking at magazine or buying magazine and eat. Can't say I necessarily hate this though. I hadn't really put much thought into what it means for the VTuber to take in on a new identity. Even if that conversation we just had felt like a jumbled mess, I feel like I gained a new perspective on VTubers. Oh yeah, this is all. This all started from being asked why I like VTubers. What about you? Why do you like VTubers? Assuming that you do. What if I said I don't watch VTubers? How? Huh. Well... I don't know what to say about this. I would demand my time and energy back. Here, I thought I found a kindred soul. Okay, okay, yeah, watch VTubers. Why I like them? Let's see. VTubing can be a shelter for those that need it. Sometimes you have nowhere else to go. Sometimes you just get away from everything. Sometimes you aren't happy with the way things are, and you need somewhere to express yourself in ways that you normally couldn't. In the world of VTubing, you're free from the threats that tie you from becoming who you want to be. You can choose how you look, how you act, and just be able to reinvent yourself. I know that my editing me just uh, literally zoomed the whole part into my face because I know, I know myself. I know my future self. I know how I edit my videos. Yeah. And uh, sometimes I force myself to you, so yes. But at the same time, editing me? Yeah. You don't. Don't. I did. Don't. Just this once. I did. Fish you. I completely forgot. If I ask me. again, then ignore me there. No. I will not. Okay, I don't know what I need. Just. Okay, I even forgot what I wanted to do with this skit. Joke. Pun. 
Um, I'm suddenly reminded of my own experiences of when I started watching VTubers. I really did have nowhere else to go. For the first time in who knows how long, it feels like someone might have understood me. I can relate to that. Oh? Sometimes we just need to feel like there's someone there, talking and chilling with us. Oh, you're out there. There might not be be anywhere else to go to get that human connection I realized that I said that I have no friends in a roundabout way mm -hmm. even if there are people in your life that you can go to you might feel like nobody understands you sometimes you just need a break from everything others might not even have the luxury of having friends so they go to VTubers <laughs> <laughs> I feel offended. Well acknowledged. <laughs> I don't. I, I actually have no idea how I feel right now. She looks at me when the, she says that, as if to emphasize the idea that I might not have friends. Why were you looking at me with that expression when you said that? Come on, you're supposed to look at people when you're speaking to them. Hey, <laughs> you didn't think I was implying anything, did you? You're giving me mixed signals. This girl is giving me this mug smile. She knows what she said. What she did. Nope. Not at all. Must have been a coincidence. I must have been mistaken. Sorry for suspecting you. I gave my best exaggerated display of poor acting. Good, good. I accept your apology. I was about to break into tears if I were to be suspected of implying that you have no friends. Hey, you're not supposed to point that out. So you're fair implying that. She gives a hearty laugh. Then I quickly, then quickly goes back to her deadpan expression. I don't know what you're talking about. But going back to what I was saying. She's changing the subject. And if there's nowhere else to go. That's not to say that people should go and pour their troubles out to a streamer. Yes. You don't do that, do you? Hey, what do you take me for? My struggles are so pathetic that even if I wanted to inconvenience others, they would just think of me even less than they already would. Um, I don't think that's something you should be proud of. But I don't think it matters how pathetic your struggles are. There might always be others that they are going through a rougher time, but that doesn't make your struggles any less important to you. What matters is how you deal with them, right? That's too much I don't get about this girl. Why did she suddenly start asking me difficult questions about VTubers? What's with the sad look she's giving? Eh? At the very least, I don't think she's being nice for the sake of seeming nice, like other people do. Honestly, my struggles really are pathetic. Why would I ever inconvenience VTubers to listen to the troubles of someone as insignificant as me? Even the skull in front of me. I'm not going to try and earn any pity from someone I just met. I'm sure my struggles are not worth the time or emotional energy from even random people. Thanks. I didn't want to push back in case she ends up expending any more energy on insignificant things. So, why were you asking me all these questions? Do you typically interrogate everybody you meet? How rude. Of course I don't do this to everybody. You were just a prime victim. In what way as a was I a prime victim? You're a VTuber fan, for one. You also looked like you had nowhere else to spend your time. What you said was contradictory. Being a VTuber fan means I have no time to spend on anything else. Um, yeah, sure, that blows my mind. I'm not entirely convinced that she would just run me start asking me weird questions without any reason but it doesn't seem like i'll get any answer out of her i suspect that she's a vtuber it also no no different that she that she and the vtuber mana was somewhere in the special in the title screen i'm just saying <laughs> I might as well take the chance to ask about her thoughts on other things. 
You said you were a fan of VTubers, right? What about Mana? The one on the cover? I guess you could call me a fan. Isn't she the greatest? That cool voice, that great sense of humor, the ability to handle any situation with confidence that tells she has in so many fields. Uh, it ain't much. Huh? There are a ton of other VTubers out there that are more talented and put in just as much work. Yes. But also, no, because... Quote from I have no idea who. Every person is weird in their own way. And that makes it beautiful. And I just remembered it was not the exact quote, but I know from who. And um Yeah, if you know Sorry. The stars just aligned for her to make it big. I take back what I thought about being understood. You might as well be kicking me down and stomping on me. <coughs> Mommy, what? Hey, some people are into that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I I just want to take a little off break, okay? So see you in a few minutes. There's no way that she was just paid lucky and got to where she was. Well, that is the reality of the VTubing world. It's all about timing and luck. That's just wrong. You can just make nothing out of their talents and efforts. Not like me, I really do respect the talents and efforts of VTubers. But the reality is that no matter how talented or how much effort some people put in, it won't be enough. They won't make it. Others with less talent and who put in less effort might make it big instead. I would like to say something about this, but at the same time, I shouldn't. And I I'd also don't. And yeah, maybe it would be because they come across, came across the right opportunity to join an agency. Maybe that one clip they had went viral. The internet isn't a place that perfectly and uh, accurately rewards work and talent. Oftentimes, the success of your VTuber will bend to the whims of whatever's trending at the time. Oh. And if that was easy to just predict or figure out, then anybody could just make it big. I have to stop myself from getting angry. I know I shouldn't get defensive about things I like, but any affront to the VTubers I like, money in particular, feels like an attack on myself. I think I've come down. Thinking about it, there is some validity to what she's saying. The internet can be unpredictable, and how a VTuber can make it big is not something that's so easily determined. AGAIN! <laughs> I watch plenty of small VTubers myself. And to say that they are not making it big because they are not working hard enough or that they aren't talented enough is the singing, the singing is. What is word? <laughs> hey, this is the first time I see this word. It is sorry. But at the same time, you can't just make it big by timing and luck alone. People aren't going to just keep watching because you got lucky. There has to be some appeal to get people to stay, to stay, to stay. <laughs> Why did my brain suddenly just switch quickly to German and back to English? <laughs> to stay, <laughs> to stay. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a bit emotional. I think you're right about some things. We can predict who will become big. There might be plenty of VTubers out there that could have been the next big thing, but never did. Hi. But there's no way that a VTuber will remain successful without having the hard work and talent required to do so. I don't believe that Mana could be as, as uh, successful as she is by just getting lucky. I'm sure there was some of that involved. But the reach she gets by touching the hearts of her viewers isn't just a product of timing or luck. I truly believe that who she is as a person and the work that she puts in is the reason why she continues to appeal to so many people. She just looks at me with surprise. 
Whoosh, who she is, huh? Sorry, I got a bit emotional as well. Maybe you're right. Regardless, popularity isn't the only indicator for success for VTubers, is it? There are a ton of VTubers that are satisfied with the community dev build. Yes. Regardless of size. Like? Yeah, yeah. Editing me, don't you even dare, by the way. Don't what you even mean? dare. What you mean? <laughs> what you mean, you idiot? <laughs> what you mean, you, you big idiot of a Roman? I'm sure there are people who think that way. But at the same time, I think in the back of their minds, a lot of them also think that it would be nice if they were to make it big. There are also plenty of VTubers out there that have single digit average viewers and this desperately wish to grow. I said editing me, don't you even dare! What? And say, huh? What you, what, what you say, past me? Huh? You wanna fight? They have been through that or know what goes through their minds. But you have a point. I've seen many VTubers try to put themselves out there on multiple platforms to try and <laughs> If I somehow make a, a relatable counter, please just just put one, put now one in there, because <laughs> um, exclamation point socials. That's all I'm gonna say. And imagine how many of their stories have been denied before I could have even get going because they started at the wrong time or just got unlucky. Did someone kick you down this morning or something? Don't seem to have the most optimistic outlook on things. This morning, someone's been kicking me down every day. Well, uh, you should probably tell that person to stop. Yeah, well, that someone is alive. I'll make sure to tell them next time. I, sh I, I, I don't want to repeat it again. But anyway, since we were talking about mana... What if the one behind Mana is a completely different person? Hmm, I wonder what you mean by that? You mean what we were talking about earlier? You mean that the person behind Mana acts completely differently? That's a bit hard to believe. Hmm, I don't know actually. Would it actually matter? What do you mean? If Mana is different off stream, then does that really matter? I mean, like you said earlier, there could be a ton of reasons for it. You wouldn't feel betrayed that she was lying to you in a way. I think in the back of my mind, maybe I would, but she doesn't know it to us in any way to act that certain way. Is that so? What about you? Aren't you Manas fan? How would you feel? I would feel betrayed that I find inspiration in someone so amazing, but she turns out to be pathetic in reality and she was just putting up a front the entire time. Why do I have to feel you off? You're just, you're just being, you. The, the hardest critic of someone is themselves. And according to this text, well, it even is more the reason, uh, more the evidence that she's mana. That's really harsh. That really wasn't the answer I was expecting. I guess there are really harsh mana fans out there. I would have thought that everybody liked her. Can we please get a list of all the haters? Because even though it's a small list, they are loud. Always. There's always a, there's always a list of haters. Again, not, not big, red or small, but they are loud and annoying. I doubt that's actually the case, though. Well, reality has a tendency to disappoint. I'm surprised you even have ex expectation in the first place to uh, disappoint. Huh. All right. Let me rephrase. Reality has a tendency to be exactly as I expect it to be. I can't help but give a chuckle at the absurdity of this conversation. How long have we been standing here? 20 minutes? According to my time, a bit more. I don't even know this girl's name, but I can tell that she's 
unique, to say the least. By the way, I don't think I caught your name. Trying to slide into my DMs, I see. Luring me into this long-winded conversation, and then trying to get my information out of now of me. Hey, you were the one who started asking me questions. And don't make me out to be a predator just for asking for your name. <laughs> my name is Makoto. Makoto Kakuzaka. I probably pronounced this name wrong and I'm sorry. Also, hi Makoto. Oh, that's a mouthful. My name is Shoma. Shoma Hasegawa. <coughs> Why does my brain hate this name for some reason? <laughs> Hasegawa. An enemy. Please search for any enemy character with the last name Hasegawa. And just put the picture right up there. And, and please. Please tell me. Is, this the, is it something that I hate? With the character? Or maybe it's actually a name that I like. I don't know actually. It, uh, my brain just says there's something about this name. Why does my brain also right now say also Monogatari? Eh. Well, Hasegawa. I should get going now. Oh, I remember what Yokone requested of me earlier. I'd much rather spend my time playing games or watching VTubers than try and converse with strangers. But talking with this girl wasn't all that bad. She has a certain bitterness towards the world that I kind of admire. Huh. A lot of other people I've met just seem so passively agree with anything, but she doesn't seem to be afraid of speaking her mind. And she has some interesting takes and questions, but I don't even know anything about her. And we just happened to meet her by chance. There's no excuse I can use for us to converse again. I can't just ask for her email or number. Why would I think that she would want to continue associating with me anyway? I'm just being selfish. I'm not going to inconvenience her any further. Sounds good. It was nice talking with you. Maybe we'll see each other around. Well, I'll be here around the same time tomorrow. I didn't get to buy the magazine I wanted. Isn't that just a roundabout way of telling me to come back here tomorrow? Maybe I'm getting too ahead of myself. See ya! I watch as she walks away down the street. Surely people haven't changed as much since the last time I talked to them. I'm sure she's just an odd oddity. My stomach suddenly reminds me of the reason I came to the store. I take the VTuber magazine and the pre-packaged meal to the counter to check out. 